Okay, good morning guys. It is, what is today? I think it's actually Sunday morning. And um, had a good night's sleep here at uh, Grayton Beach State Park, spot two. And uh, looking back at the other parts of the loop, um, it'd been nicer to have uh, uh, loop uh, um, or spot uh, eight or some of those because those were right on the water but I think when we made the reservations none of those were available uh, but anyways we slept real good last night um, the bed was actually very comfortable and I was surprised that actually Teresa Bernie and I fit well uh, up on the bed I was concerned that that may be the bed you know because we're used to a queen bed but that may be this bed, which is more like a, a double, I think, um, would be too too small. But I felt like maybe the closeness made it more snuggly and um, cozy. So we slept, yeah, we slept really good. Teresa's actually at the bathhouse getting a shower. And uh, we're going today to meet uh, some of her relatives who live... Uh, in, near Panama City and I think one of them's from Port, Port St. Joe so some of her aunts and uncles so looking forward to that and um, yeah good day the next uh, location that we're staying at uh, tonight is uh, I think it's called St. George Island St. George Island State Park which uh, sounds interesting in itself so um, yeah. well, we had breakfast and uh, we're kind of just getting ready. It rained and it's actually st still currently raining. Um, and so Teresa's got an umbrella. But uh, we'll get things together, pack up, and uh, off for another exciting day. Enjoying this. Um, and I was really telling Teresa last night that you know, you, you design a van and you think, try to th lay out and think um, how it's going to work. But last night I was realizing that everything is just, it seems perfect, that it's just laid out perfectly. Uh, everything's within reach. Of course, it's a small space, but, um, and there was still space to walk uh, around even when the bed is out, which I find is amazing in such a very small spot, small space. So. Um, and I'm just real happy with the design so far. I haven't found anything that I wish I would have done, redone, or done differently. I haven't found any of that yet. So, all right, well, um, yeah, we're gonna get ready here and uh, have another adventure. Highway 98. About to have uh, lunch with Teresa's relatives. And I forgot, to, forgot to tell you this morning, but today's our anniversary. 23 years. That's a long time, baby. 23 years. It seems like yesterday we were in college dating having fun with friends and going to classes. Now we're old. <laughs> we're in our late 40s, Not late, mid. mid 40s, coming up on 50. Holy smokes. Where did the time go? How old do you feel? 30s. 30s, yeah. I probably, I still feel like I'm in my late 20s. What's all that clanking? Not sure. Not A lot of clanking. But that clanking drives me nuts. Yeah, can, can you? Well, can you help me help out a friend? Help out a brother? <laughs> Well, that's the only time that it's clanking is when I'm driving. I don't know what to do. I'm 
Get up, find what's clanking, and stop it. I tried that before. No, there's something clanking. That's one of them. That's probably the biggest one. What, what was that? I just opened up the door and shut it. I don't know what it is. The, to the oven? Yeah. Oh, maybe something was hit the glass or something. The glass in the front. I don't know, baby. Did you like your pizza last night? Yeah. I did it a different way. I cooked it on the stove top first. Yeah, it started again. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Part, part of it is this road. Uh, Highway 98 is not the most well-maintained road. In spots, I should say. Having a good time, Bernie? Try to we roll this out to the bed. You are looking, looking mighty relaxed. St. George Island State Park. Looks like it's a, basically a barrier island. It's kind of like Pensacola Beach. And uh, driving down here to the campground. And uh, you can see it's very nice. The sun is actually coming out, so we might have a nice sunset view. The sun is actually behind us. I like this. Uh, driving, only driving three hours a day. So when we get to the campsite, one of the first things we have to do is check out the restroom facilities. That's what I like to do. Yeah, and uh, and so Teresa is now going to start raiding <laughs> the facilities. So you think the Great and Beach facilities, like what better. number, one to 10? Well, I don't have really much to compare it to right. yet. So, so I mean, kind of a, on a All I can just say is guessing. I, I like that one better than this one so far. The other one is slightly better because... We've got to stop every few seconds for Bernie to <laughs> act like he's peeing. He has got nothing left in him. Well, I like when... The, they have your own personal dressing area, area, you're locked in, and then the shower area was all very clean. Oh, here's another. And it had a shower curtain. Oh, let's check this one out. You might need to check this one out. Is this another? Yeah, there's this? another one. Here, I'll hold Bernie. Okay. Big dog going around that bit. Okay. It's about the same. About That one's about the same? Yeah. But, so the first one had locked in area personal dressing area that was bigger than this one mm -hmm. so the other one was bigger and i don't know about the men's but the other one at the women's was cleaner and there was a shower curtain in addition to the door this one you do have your personal dressing area shower area huh? not as clean and there's no shower curtain but if you're locked in that's not really a biggie but right it's just nice so now we're heading over to the bayside beach which bernie's allowed on he just can't be on the Gulf side beach. So we're gonna go check it out. Maybe we'll get there right in time for sunset. Be nice. Yeah. I love the sunlight.
hot dogs are done. Let's see how they taste. Mm. Very good. I think it's hard to uh, create a bad meal when you're camping. Everything tastes so much better. All right, guys, well, we're getting ready for bed, so we're going to call it a night. And uh, until tomorrow, we'll talk to you later. Have a great night. All right, talk to you later. Bye.